We are going to continue with Booleans, true and false, by looking at the logical operators. There are three logical operators. They are AND, OR, NOT. So those are the three. And we'll talk about not in the next video. In this video, we'll just talk about and and or. And what you see in the slide on the left side is the truth tables. And this is an easy thing to memorize. Um, they show what is the result. For example, in the left table, the and table, if you have a true statement and a true statement and you evaluate that, what you get back is true, the value true. And if you have a true and a false, or a false and a true, and you're comparing those, you're linking them with and, the returned value is false or false. Finally, if you link a false statement and a false statement, the returned value is false. So notice that in the and table, when you're, you're putting two things together with and, the logical operator and, the only time that your returned value is true is if both things are true. And this is pretty cool because the OR table is kind of the opposite. It's like flipped around and the only time two statements compared with OR or linked with OR, this thing OR this thing, the only time that they're false is if both are false. So we're going to demonstrate that with some simple math, okay? So you know that is 5 greater than 1? Certainly that is true. Is 5 less than 1? That is false. So what if we put those two statements together with AND? So I'm going to use parentheses even though it's not necessary, so it's just really clear when you're looking at it, okay? So here comes the AND. That's the logical operator AND. And let's put the false one on the other side. So you can look at the truth table and you should be able to figure, well, what is the answer going to be? And what's happening now is it's saying, well, are they both true? Is one false and one true? Are they both false? And with the AND operator, the only time we're going to get true back is if, and here, let's do something really, really clear. Okay, 5 is equal to 5, AND, AND. 3 is equivalent to 3. So what's this going to be? This is true, right? Because true and true yields true. So let's do the same exact two with OR. So this is a false one and a true one, but I'm going to use the logical operator for OR. There's OR, okay? I press return, and that is going to be true because in the OR truth table on the left, you can see that it's always going to be true for OR uh, unless both things are false. So a way to think about this, oh, wait, and let's do this one too. So this is true no matter what, because when both statements are true, it doesn't matter if they're linked with and, or, or, they are, it's going to return true, right? So you can see that at the top of the two truth tables, right? True and true equals true, true or true equals true, and that's what we're getting over here in the console on the right side. Let's show this with something a little more relatable, perhaps, than math. So let's say that you have arranged to buy a car. And the woman selling the car says, if you come in the morning and you bring me cash, then I will sell you the car. So if you don't come in the morning, but you have the cash, she's not selling it to you. If you come in the morning, but you don't have the cash, you're not getting the car, right? Okay, so let morning equals true and let cash equals true and let car equals morning and cash. So what this will mean is did you get the car or not? And if I console log car We'll find out that you got the car. Yay! But if morning is false, 
So we have to say this again, car equals morning and cash, and it's false, right? So if we console log it, the same thing. So you don't get the car. But if it's or, what if she said, if you show up in the morning and you're the first person, or you bring me the cash anytime during the day, right? So that would be a different thing. So we would say car equals morning or cash. Then you get the car. So sometimes if you're trying to learn the truth tables, and you aren't really grasping it because you haven't studied them before, it can help if you make up a little story like that and you might say something like, uh, if I eat my vegetables and I go to bed early, I will be healthy, right? And then you could say, let healthy equals vegetables eaten and, so both have to be true, right? Or else healthy is false. This kind of practice in the console can make you feel more comfortable with the way the truth tables shown on the left side of the screen work. And if you're having trouble with this, I really urge you to do a little practice. It will really help.